on today's video we're going to be unboxing the milling uh oil pump here now we got this for the ls engine we've been building this is a very decent oil pump we actually got it into another 6-0 build we did so let's just go ahead and open it and you know we compare it to a stock one side by side i am not taking it apart like i did a stock one because this is going straight into the motor and i like to get it installed as soon as i unbox it and get you a video coming at asap so when you open it up the packaging i gotta complain it is not the best I like it been smashed around but as long as the oil pump is in one piece that's the main thing they are videos on how to install these pumps i will have one on it i will be doing it the same way millen does we got springs it comes with two different springs right here the one i think we used in the other truck i have to double check is the cold pole swing i just need to be sure which when i put the spring in it and stuff you know uh it'll be a video on that with more details on the spring we used in the uh on the other truck comes with tons of labels and stuff attention due to the nature of process some color uh, may occur okay that's common sense we got this o-wing instructions always nice to have instructions guys we got some mail and performance stickers here that's pretty cool companies don't hardly give us stickers anymore let's take this out of the bag have a nice look at it it looks pretty good it is branded right here laser etched that's what you want to see they do make knockoff millions you want to be careful of that You can feel how loose this is. But what this does is actually spins just like so. So at noise is normal, especially when it ain't got no oil in it. Made in the USA. Now, let's go ahead and just uh, get a stock one to compare us to. This is the stock GM pump. We took it apart in another video. You can pretty well see right here. This don't make that noise, but it's got oil and uh, helps uh, dampen that sound when you mash it. If it was dry, it would go clean, clean too. You can hear it still does, but the oil is kind of dampening it. On the back, it's basically the same design. On the front, same design. Different front plate on the two this is more smooth the gear design is different too on these milling pumps i don't know if you can see inside of it but you would see the gear spinning if you could you can turn the light on inside you can see the gears and how they work it just kind of rotates the transmission pump is set up somewhat the same that centers up just like so oil goes in here gets spun around comes through here which add a little plunger down in here which a spring is putting pressure on and when the pressure builds up at a certain amount the spring presses down and then you got an oil bypass that's over in here somewhere you can't really tell unless it pumps apart right here and it travels back into the system that keeps you from you know like blowing your oil filter and everything up but yeah it looks extremely good feels very good quality can't wait to get it installed so this is pretty much just a stock replacement pump you know it, it does got a little bit more flow to it you can choose your spring and the pressure weight uh it, it's 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 a really good pump used it before 
you're going to use it again you're thinking about getting you one of these i wouldn't hesitate oil pumps are very critical critical component on your engine but this is a stock one we took apart and you never hardly see any damage with them i mean they do go bad sometimes but it's very well so you could always take your stock pump apart before put, buying one because these are not over a hundred and some dollars and see if you actually need one and then you can either port it you know and upgrade the spring with some washers or just buy this and it comes with springs thank you for watching see you next time let me know what oil pump you went with and uh be sure if you're new get subscribed thanks for watching